Hey you guys, so today we are looking at these which are knockoffs, bootlegs, well from Aliexpress. Um, they are the Silent Hill uh, Red Pyramid Thing, Silent Hill 2, and Bubblehead Nurse, Silent Hill 2. Um, now these both came from the same supplier, the same person, um, and it's kind of weird because this, I was going to do them as separate videos, but I thought I'll throw them together because I want you to see this one has Figma and Free Ing and all sorts of things printed all over it. This one doesn't. This one is a Matt Cabo box. This one isn't. This one, um, when you look at the back of that, you can, I don't know if you can see it as well on camera, but how bad the box is for that one. That is definitely like a photocopy. Um, printed very badly, or even a photograph, then photocopied and printed onto the cardboard box. This one, this one looks pretty good. This one, I would be like, hmm, because it has a lot of the legalese at the top there, at the bottom, it is printed on a matte box, there is the artwork on the side, it has the, the right things on the top, the right things on the bottom, there's even a barcode down there. Yeah. If anybody can work out what that barcode means, there we go. Some people can scan barcodes, I know. Yep, that one looks good. This, the box is absolutely, absolutely terrible. Um, they are also really difficult to see what's inside the boxes. Uh, these were posted to me out of the box. I put them back in for the review. I mean, look, even that, the, the, this is, this, the box is terrible. The box is, is absolutely... Um, a waste of time. Let me just move that because he's going to keep following over. There we go. Alright, uh, so um, we'll open this one first, seeing as this is a bad one. We'll move her out of the way. So, yeah. Throw the box down there. Like I say, it does have the right sort of things on the back there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. The weird thing is, the frame, the the, the stuff is at the front, the figure's right at the back, like really hidden. I, I, I guess this is like the original packaging. Usually the tray like that is at the back, but this one's at the front. Um, you see a selection of hands in there, which don't look great. Uh, stand, his weapon. It is kind of weird because I haven't played Silent Hill probably since PlayStation days, the first PlayStation. I had Silent Hill on that, and I've never had any of the other ish, other versions. Right, let's just lay that there. So yeah, there is, um, I guess that's a neck joint and the rest of his spear. So we'll just move that out of the way a second, while we stick it all together. Right. So, extreme close up. Not too bad a Sort of paint job on the head there. Strange glowy orange stuff on the back. Bit of something sticking out there. The head is kind of loose. The ball joints are not painted at all. It is very... the body is very sturdy. This neck joint is a little wibbly, wobbly, a little loose, but I think that is partly because of the huge head that is keeping it up. The Outfit is painted with a kind of a green colour. It's not too bad. It is rubberized. There is kind of a, a connection there between them to keep them together. Um, I say you're not going to get. Oh, actually, you will. You get a reasonable amount of articulation out of that because um, this rubber skirt is going to stop it moving. It does. It does stand reasonably well. You can see, let's tilt that down, there we go. Um, it doesn't have any of the weapon hands installed in it. Let's have a look at those, I guess. Sell the tape. There we go. So those are the hands. Not the world's best paint job on those, but um, we shall see if we can. I 
I always do the wrong hand? Let me do it the other way because it's... I always do the wrong hand because I'm looking at it from the other angle. So it would be um, that one. I'm going to go with that one. So, that for there, that is a very tiny, tiny peg. And hopefully I'll get it on without breaking it. We got on that note. Okay, that doesn't want to go in there. We're going to leave it with the. Maybe if I can put this hand back on. There we go. That one wants to go back on. I think I mess around and try and make that hole straighter. Yeah, but yeah, it's not. It's not a terrible figure. It's not a great figure. It 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 stands. Um, like I said, the joints do look a little bit suspect in there, but for the price, it isn't a bad figure. Um, if I was buying a real one of these, because the real one of these were like 80, 80 quid, um, I would be a little bit disappointed. It is a little bit eh. I presume the real ones have a better paint job um, on them than this. Yeah. Anyway, right, so that is the, right, let's have a look at the other one. So this, like I said, the box is so much better. Um, but let's see what the figure's like. Now she did come with some instructions as well. He didn't have any, but she does. As you can see, pretty good set of instructions. In, and in English. Yay, they have English and the original. Hmm, right. Uh, there is a lot of sellotape on this one. The plastic in this box is kind of yellow. So this could this could be a real one that's just been sat in a warehouse for a very long time. I don't know how popular these figures were, but I did, while surfing other people's uh, knockoff reviews, I did notice a few of you asking to see these so if you have you know found this video it would help if you could please subscribe or like or share you know all that sort of stuff because it really helps the channel because it does feel a little bit like some days I get ignored I recently did a review of something and somebody else did one and they've already got a thousand views on it and it does kind of you know hurt my feelings what do you want to call it but yeah there we go finally got that off right. so she's no she has a pipe a knife there's a stand and the other two heads so I'll put over there for a moment and have a look at the figure so can we get to stand oh, pretty good Right, so there's the face with the nurse's hat on. Very creepy. Uh, I'd say face, there is no real face on that. The other two also don't have faces either. I think one of them should be blue actually. Or is it that one that's supposed to be blue? One on the back of the box looks blue. I'm going to put the box down there because the bits are falling out of it. Right, so there she is. It's not a bad paint job. I mean, let's say these. The skin texture, I don't know whether they've gone, but it's a really creepy zombie like skin texture on the leg there. Interesting shoes. Yeah, it's not a bad, it's a, it looks very fragile, but it is actually quite, quite sturdy, I do have to say. Um, and there is, there is, I don't know, the, the skin has a, a nice sort of zombie skin tone to it. Boo. Um, and she does, like I say, she does sort of stand. I'm sure, articulation wise, 
um, forward, kind of backwards, tilt either way. There is a ball joint in the neck there. That goes round. There is a ball joint there which has plenty of movement in it. And also a swivel there which is a little loose. Arm only goes up to about there. Usual crunchy bits around there. The waist, you have to pull that down. There we go. And that. The skirt is kind of a rubber piece, so it's not going to go too far back or too far forward, but you are going to get kind of maneuverability in that bottom bit there. So you are going to be able to put her into something some kind of creepy zombie like pose yeah not too bad um I, I think for what I paid for these these were pretty cheap they ain't too bad um she comes in at let's see knock her over arms down there we go easier to measure around 14 and a half centimeters or five and a half inches and he comes in at around seven inches or about 18 ish centimeters so you know they're not the biggest figures in the world but they're, they're kind of cool i kind of like you know I could work with these. I could. I, I would maybe repaint this, and make it a white, a grey colour rather than green. Do some detailing on the on the things there. You know the buckles and stuff. But other than that, yeah, I don't think they're too bad. I will have a mess around with these and see how easy she is to pose. Like I say it's not. It's not a terrible figure for the price. Um, I'll put a link underneath where I got these from, so that you can, if you want one, you can go get one. Uh, yeah. Not a bad, not a bad figure for the price. So, yeah. So, that is kind of it for now. Like I say, it's kind of weird that the box for this one is so good, the box for that one is so bad. Both figures, they're okay. You know what I mean? I do, look, I, I'll keep looking at that. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. How, with him, how nice the zombie effect is on that skin. It is pretty good. So I have a feeling this could this could be genuine. This, nah, that's that's definitely not. The paint job on this is in theory. The paint job on this is pretty good. So yeah, it's up to you. You guys have your choices on what you want to do with these things. Let's say, um, yeah, they're knockoffs. The KOs, they were cheap, and that's why I bought them. And I thought you guys would like them as well. So yeah. So thanks guys, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said earlier, please, if you're new here, subscribe. It's a big help to the channel. Um, also, if you could just hit the, the like button as well, because that works with the algorithm. You know, play the game, it all helps, yeah? So thanks guys, I hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.